So now let's work around with gradients inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So to work with gradient, first of all, I'm going to take my pencil tool and let me just uh, make a shape right here. So I'm just going to go around here with my brush size and make gradient just like this. So I'm now going to go on to my paint bucket tool and I'm going to add in a color. So right now you can see that the color is totally flat. But what I can do is I can go into the color settings and change it into gradient. So for that, I can right click over here and I can click on edit. So once I do that, I'll get this uh, color palette right over here. And by default, this is set to solid as you can see. So what I can simply do is I can change it into gradient. So I can go into multiple color wheel as well to work around with gradient or single wheel mode, which is what I prefer because it is much more simpler. So over here on the gradient, you can see that both are selected red, so you don't see any gradient. But if you are to select one of these points right here, so you, let's say you select this one and then you choose another color. So I'm going to go on to hue right over here and select green, something like green. So there's a red to green gradient as you can see. So there's red and green. And as you move along, you can see that you can change the contrast of the grading right over here, just like this. So just by moving around, you can see that the gradient is actually being changed. If you want to add in another color over here, you can simply click over here and then another color has been added. So once I select this, I can select another color of my choice. If I want to remove it, I can simply click and drag it out. If I were to add in multiple colors over here, just like this, one over here and one over here, uh, if I were to drag it in between, you can see that the contrast is less. So you can create any effect as per your wish after doing the gradient. So one type of the gradient that you can choose is linear and the, that is from left to right. The other one is radial, which is rounded in shape just like this. So linear and radial, you can change it out right over here. Another thing that you can do is you can use one of the gradient points to decrease the alpha channel as well. So as I decrease the alpha channel of this area, you can see that there's a transparency going on right here. So to see it more clearly, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this, press Ctrl and C and V to duplicate it. And you can see that that area, this area is not transparent, but the center area, as you can see, is more transparent. As I go over here and select this area, increase this out, you can see that the transparency fades away. So now, uh, once I add in the gradient, you may want to actually control it as well. So in order to control it, what we can do is we can use the gradient editor. So let me just go over here and then let us go on to the gradient editor from over here. So let me just go over here on to, uh, on to my selection tool area. And over here on the bottom, you can see that there's an option to edit gradient and texture. So once I click on this, you can see that since I'm using a radial gradient, you get a roundish figure right over here. So you can move this point around and you can see that that is how it affects. If you want to resize it, you can simply resize the gradient. As you can see, you can resize the gradient over here and all of the uh, color ranges actually resizes accordingly. So you can expand and resize it. You can even push it in and you can see that this is how gradient turns out. You can even rotate out the gradient by using this handle and rotating it out. You can actually go over here onto the settings, change it to linear, and now you get a linear handle. So now you can resize this out, rotate the linear handle out, expand this and so forth. So you can work around with the gradient any way you like, just like that. You can also go over here and apply gradient onto the edges if you want to. So to do that, I'm going to go over here onto the color and I'm going to select the edge right over here and then select the gradient and click on the edge. And it, now you can see that the gradient is added on the line right here. So in order to control that as well, I can actually go over here onto edit gradient and then you can see that you'll get this out. So you can edit the gradient right now on my um, settings. I can actually go over here, expand this out and change out the settings just like I would change a regular texture just like this. So I can move this around over here as well. So I can click over here, change the gradient over here, or I can click on the M, on the stroke and change the gradient over there as well. And that is how you work around with gradient inside of Toon Boom Harmony. So I hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.